Alright, so today's job review is on Plowed. It's one of the other eight CEO jobs introduced with the import-export update. In order to unlock the job, you just need to buy the Phantom Wedge, which, depending on your status, can be either 1.9 million or 2.5 million. If you want it to cost less money, get the Secure Serve trade and discount. And if you don't know how that works or how you get the discount, it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is get a vehicle warehouse, and then from there you import a certain amount of cars successfully and then once you do that you start the special vehicle work that it's associated with and then you get the discount it does not work if you join the uh, job as a, an associate but you have to do it as an uh, as a ceo in order for that to work so the way the uh ceo job works is you destroy piles or crates at each different whatever location the game gives you and that's pretty much it so like here for example it was at the frigid factory there was three piles of crates stacked up somewhere in the factory and you just drive straight into the things with the wedge and they count as destroyed and then the game will assign you another area to go to and you do the same thing you're basically doing uh, destroying sets of crates three times in this job you're given 15 minutes to do so but to be honest it will no way take you close to 15 minutes the most amount of time i've personally probably had to take is maybe around 10 minutes if you take more than 10 minutes you're doing something wrong or you're taking too many detours or you're taking too many like uh, you know off-road kind of routes you know like kind of away from the path lines and shit you don't want to do that you want to pretty much go wherever you know direction the game tells you to go you know basically just follow the gps line don't get weird and crazy and start taking all sorts of weird turns and shit unless it it's beneficial to you you know for example if you need to take the freeway because it's faster versus oh i need to take the city streets because it's harder for them to hit me whatever it works each location you notice is guarded pretty heavily by all sorts of AIs and vehicles. Don't let any of that, you know, throw you off. It's not gonna scare you, it shouldn't scare you, and more importantly, it shouldn't actually kill you either. The Wedge can push pretty much any vehicle out the way. There's certain big vehicles though that I know for a damn fact this thing should not be able to push, like the Brigade, which is another big, big truck introduced with the finance update. Insurgents and those kind of vehicles, it might be able to push out the way, but I'm not entirely too sure. But basically anything big like that, other big semis too also. You know, those big semi trucks like this, which you will find occasionally across the map. Even those you might have a harder time pushing. But, you know, things like burritos like here, or, you know, the contenders, or I think the fucking ones at the construction site are Karumas. You know, those vehicles, like I said, don't let those throw you off and don't let those scare you too much. It's not going to fucking be a problem. Also, as far as the AI engagement goes, you know, how you know when they're shooting you and shit. And don't let that throw you off either, you know, don't let it fucking, oh my god, I gotta get out of the truck. Just stay in the truck, because ha you have to stay in the truck anyway. Stay in the truck, you know, apply snacks and armor if you need to. And you can pretty much run them over and it pretty much kills them on, you know, pretty much on contact. So don't, like I said, l don't let it fucking throw you off too much. Uh, depending where you start, of course, will dictate where the wedge will spawn. And as far as the locations they give you... There's probably, I don't know, maybe eight or nine different locations they can give you in total. But you'll never get the same layout twice. At least I don't think you can. It'd be kind of weird if you did get the same layout. Like the same three locations in the same order each time you play. You know what I mean? That'd be kind of weird. But um, otherwise, you get different areas and locations each fucking time you do this. And sometimes, you know, they give you multiple locations within the same area. Or the same city or region, whatever you want to call it. Like, for example, it is possible to get two locations within Los Santos, or it's possible to get two in Blaine County, which usually it is. But it is rare, though, that you can get three different areas in Los Santos, and I'm sure it is possible to get three different areas within Blaine County. I've personally never seen the ones where maybe I get three different areas in Blaine County, but I'm sure it actually is possible. But otherwise, you're pretty much going to be traveling across the state in order to actually do the job. So don't expect them to be within your hometown or home region, whatever you prefer to call it. As far as the crates go, how you destroy them, well, you just have to drive into them, but you don't actually have to hit them with the plow. That's something that I noticed. Too. You may have actually seen that too in the earlier clip. Is, you know, you can actually let the fucking back of the wedge hit the crates and it'll still count as destroyed. Another tip here that you're going to see right now is I got the wedge stuck somehow. I don't know how. It's probably just how I hit something, but I got it stuck between two different objects, so I can't exactly get in to reverse and accelerate my way out. You know by turning the shit so what i had to do was i had to call this brigade to actually push the fucking wedge out the way because anything small like a supercar or anything like that is not going to push the wedge so you need something big and if you got to use a, something like this do it you know any big vehicle i don't think you can use the contenders or anything like that that was here 
I tried to do it, but I don't think it let me get in. But like I said, if you have the Brigade, that definitely is your best friend for something like this. It can push most stuff out the way, and it tends to push the fucking wedge out of, you know, stuck spots too, so that definitely helps to have. If you're in the back like this, you know, it definitely helps to have like a machine gun, not a shotgun like I was doing just to fuck around, but having some kind of light machine gun definitely does help. As you know, you can provide some kind of cover fire like here too. And as long as he's driving fast, like my partner was that no, Shredder actually. As long as you're driving fast enough, it shouldn't be a problem for the guy in the back. Another tip I also offer too is if you're running with more than one person like this, obviously don't fucking let them do some stupid shit like that. But if you run ground support or even air support, it really is up to you how you fucking cover the wedge. Whether you want to do it from the truck or from the air or from another vehicle, it's all dependent on what your fucking you know play style is. Also, to another tip I would recommend is be careful how you drive, okay? You know, I'm not saying, you know, like a dumbass obvious tip. I just mean like, you know, basically don't try to hit certain turns at certain speeds, you know, because you might over flip or flip over the fucking wedge and you really don't want it to get stuck in the water or something like really bad because that will destroy it if you do something like that. And you only get one wedge, so make it count and don't do some stupid shit like that. Be careful how you drive. And uh, that's really about it. As far as difficulty goes, it's not a hard job whatsoever. It might only be hard if you have a jet or something following you, other or even anything with an explosive cannon. But otherwise, the job is pretty easy. i probably put it within a normal range, actually. And uh, I do recommend playing it more often. You know, it's definitely a good job to play. And it pays you a good chunk of money. You know, it pays you around twenty-five to 29000 I definitely recommend playing it. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, so that's it for this review. So... Of course, let me know what you think in the comments below, what your opinions are of the job, or, and I'll work on the next CEO review hopefully soon. If you missed the previous review, which was fully loaded, you can click the annotation in the end card here. Anyway, that's it for today.